how are we all doing today so lovely to have you back it's angela here and i just wanted to thank you all for joining me again today just to have a little look at what i've been working on um over this weekend so i've got this lovely little um autumn folio that i've put together um been using some of the kits from calico collage um they've got some beautiful autumn kits there um and i have had one or two of those in the past um but norella has actually put together some fabulous um kits now the one i've used today is the autumn um folio um, I think it's the Autumn Ride Folio, if I'm not mistaken, and I've just loved it. And I've used that together with a couple of her other uh, Autumn tickets and Autumn labels and Autumn Ride. Um, uh, I'll put them all down in the description box. And I've used it to make something into this little journal, which is um, not quite what I think was intended, but... I never do things the way they intended and that was for me that's just the challenge so anyway this is what we're going to have a look at today so it's some beautiful colors i've even managed to bring a little bit of pink in there um with this beautiful ribbon which is from um, perrin yarns i bought a long time ago um with the oranges and the pinks which i think really looks so pretty so we're going to have a look inside and see and before i start i'll just tell you it is for i've increased the, the the folio page from the kit um i increased it so i could fit in some envelopes that i wanted to include um so we're looking at a four and a half inch or 16 and a half centimeters by six and a half inches um sorry it was 16 and a half centimeters that way six and a half inches and i think it was 11 and a bit centimeters or four and a half inches so that's the dimensions more or less so we have this beautiful ribbon and the beautiful folio cover which has the most gorgeous images inside so this was my autumn little project so we'll take off the ribbon there like that um, and you can see I've used a, a 200 gram um, cardstock to print on here front and back. So I have printed on a the underside and the top side, which um, this is the folio cover, which you get with that kit. Um, and yes, and the rest of the uh, pages I've used a 120 a GSM, which is about a 30 uh, pound cardstock. I'll look up what the other one is. So just have a look at the top there. So I've laid up some of the leaves. Now you get the most beautiful fall leaves in the kit. Um, I printed them two to an A4 page. So it gave me two sets of these and made them slightly smaller. Um, I've printed out the autumn notes um, and the ephemera. You get beautiful pine cones and chestnuts. And really, it's just a, a gorgeous kit. If you're wanting a full kit, then this is one to look at. All right, so um, I'll go through the insides. Um, first of all, we've got this little pocket over here, which was this little gingham um, checked one, which is so adorable. Then um, I've put on some of the little leaves that come in there. I've used lots of the labels um, that I got from the autumn labels. Just made a little cluster there. And then um, I have put together a little tag, which I've put onto recycled packaging at the back. Um, just put on a little piece, which is something like that, um, with a little eyelet and some... Um, sari ribbon at the top there so that goes into the back these are all from the kit so um, i'll put the links down below just a little a few of the little images that you get the ephemera there and then these are one part of the tickets you get bigger ones different colors as well there's beautiful toadstools in this kit really love them so i've used toadstools all over the place from the kits as well this is the first envelope I made, and I made that into a pocket, which will go right through to the other side. I have laid up with quite a lot of autumn shaded um, Tim Holtz uh, leaves and things, um, and others that aren't Tim Holtz. Uh, put on a label there. These are all from Calico Collage. Um, and in there, I've got the most beautiful uh, tags that came, and I think this is from the Autumn Breeze kit that I had. I'm just trying to turn over. I've got these little tiny tags that I've put on at the top there. I've sewn some 
with buttons on, some with little flowers on, seam binding and little seed beads at the top there as well. And I just love that one. Isn't that so cute? And then this one, which is a little bit more whimsy. It's like a bit of a fairy uh, with a, a rabbit in this beautiful scenery. So I've put those back to back in the pocket. So when you have a look and flick the pocket over, that you do have an image on both sides. So it's just a case of getting it back in now. <laughs> All right, so let's do that one and then that one. All right, that's easier. So one there and one there like that. So this is the other side. Oh, I, I'd have layered up, as I said. On this side, I've put some um, paper ruffle, some little bit of greenery, one of the uh, little fussy cuts of toadstools. And this is one of the pages from the Autumn Ride journal pages, which is really pretty. Um, and then on this side, I've got a, a lovely envelope um, put on a, a toadstool. I cut a circle here. I laid it up onto another page um, and put some acetate in there and just stuck in the little butterfly. And then um, took one of the other pages, made a bit of a journal card. Love these designs over here. So pretty, beautiful butterfly. Again, put it onto recycled card and that's a journal card that's going to... Um, go into that pocket over there all right so if we have a look on this side again another page from the the kit um, more labels little pumpkin love these leaves as I said I use quite a lot of and then I've cut out one of the bits that um, one of the scraps that I had left over with which looked really autumn it's from the printables from this kit I've used some um, vintage lace here which is dyed and lovely peachy colors I love that image with a like a see-through autumn leaf there. Um, it's another envelope and I've stuck a little journal card into that pocket over there as well. Um, other side of that, we've got lots of layering, more labels, beautiful page from the one of the kit pages um, and I've just layered up there again. So we've got another page, lots of layers, some more Tim Holtz and some more labels, scrap of paper that I've cut, um, all from that kit. So this is a different um, envelope and I folded this envelope over um, to make a, a tuck spot over here. And I've layered that all up um, with all the bits and the elements and tickets and pine cones and mushrooms, all from the kit there. So all except that Tim Holtz green bit, which um, I've put in. And here's another page from that kit. So we've got tickets. This is some of the other tickets um, that come in the autumn tickets and even cut out a little bicycle because you're having a lovely, relaxing autumn ride. Um, and these are just some of the other little elements that come within the kit. So I've put them all in there. Um, and I have put all of that into that pocket over there. Could sort that out after. Right, so I've taken another two little envelopes here and I've made them flip over like this, but I've also lined it up so that the this is, um, you know, matches. So this was one page and I've just split it in two. Oh, I've sewn them into the signature. Um, here's the little ties and I've just put those on two scraps little banners um, and here I've made a little collage some more collaging sticking down onto there and one of the labels that come within the folio kit there so I've just cut out look at these beautiful bingo cards with the most gorgeous toadstools on them there's one in there and I have one in here as well beautiful just really pretty beautiful autumn is so pretty isn't it gorgeous birds in here as well so it's really very very um attractive i love the leaves as i said and i did cut them out along with the pine cone so i've just collaged a little bit on the back of that one and i've done the same but added a butterfly um with some more leaves on that one as well so that's those little pockets then this is a little pocket that comes with the folio kit I've just laid up here I love the little fox um, put on one of the little labels and I've shoved in quite a few because it's a double pocket as you can see 
um, and then I've just put in beautiful little fox picture um, another little one with a little frame with a bird um, a little bingo card again with some more toadstools on and then I've stuck in um, some more of those little tickets those autumn tickets so I've stuck that all in there and that's really so easy to do and really very pretty and then in this envelope again I've stuck in another journal card from one of the pages and it's got some very subtle um, like stencil looking stuff on there as well and again backed it onto some um, recycled packaging which I love to use <laughs> All right, so uh, that goes in there. And then on this side, I've made a little um, tuck spot with the back of the envelope flap. Um, again, layered up with these beautiful bits here and the toadstools. And as I said, the toadstools, there's some more really gorgeous, beautiful colors. Um, there's like a little booklet cover in there that says, Hello Autumn. I stuck one of the autumn labels on there with some cheesecloth. And then with the banners and things, I just made this little um, paper clip with some of the banners and stuck on one of the butterflies on there just to decorate that a little bit. So that just goes onto the front cover. I thought that looked cute. And then I've just put in some, I've stenciled over here and I've just put in some tea stain pages. So you could do a little bit of note taking in there. So that's just like a little booklet. So that's just going to slide um, in there like that. Here's the back of the envelope again. Again, I've collaged on the, onto the pages um, and I've made, taken another two tags. And again, this is from the um, Autumn Breeze kit, I think. I love that fox. Um, beautiful dream catcher in there. And again, I've put on these really tiny tags with beads um, and little buttons, tiny buttons. That's an eight mil button. Um, and put some seam binding and some of that gingham with an eyelet at the top there. So again, I'm just turning those around so you've got a, a pretty visual on both sides. Um, and I'm going to just slide those in there as well. All right, so isn't that a gorgeous butterfly again? And then on the back, we've got the back end of that envelope, which I've collaged up like that. We've had a look at those two tags. And then on this side, we've just got another little um, pocket that you get with the kit. I've laid up some more of the leaves. Here's some chestnuts, some more toadstools. And I couldn't resist putting in that gorgeous little squirrel. Just look at it with its little uh, chestnut there. Um, and again, um, some more, and there's a beautiful backing page, uh, little bits from the kit. So there's that little one, a beautiful forest, um, just really, very pretty ephemera bits that go in there. And of course, the little squirrel who's just sitting, eyeing up those uh, chestnuts over there. So that's everything. It was a, a, a chunky little thing. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed that. It was a quick little flip through. I, I've loved putting this together. You could do this with so many themes as well with Christmas. We might try something like that for one of the Christmas, um, uh, ideas. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Um, and leave a comment if you feel, if you feel up to it, or even just a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I will leave all the links for the various kits in the description box below. So please have a look out for that. Um, and if you've got any questions, then just ask. Thank you so much, everybody. Love spending time with you as always. And as I always say, stay safe. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.